There are few places in the world that have nurtured and launched such amazing artists and enduring music as the land of 10,000 lakes, the great state of Minnesota. The birthplace of such icons as Prince, Bob Dylan, the Andrews Sisters, Atmosphere, Husker Du, and Soul Asylum, Minnesota also gave the world one of the wildest, most unhinged, and absolutely fantastic rock groups of all time. The Replacements. Join us as we dive into one of The Replacements, aka The Mats, most revered and controversial albums on the latest episode of The Rhino Report. Because I'm Scott T. Sterling, and this is The Rhino Report. The history of The Replacements started all the way back in 1978, when a 19-year-old Bob Stinson gifted his 11-year-old brother Tommy a bass guitar. That same year, the brothers met drummer Chris Mars, and the young trio formed a band calling themselves Dog Breath. Now, a local janitor by the name of Paul Westerver heard the band playing from the street outside. Now, Paul liked what he heard so much that he would regularly cruise by and listen in on Dog Breath's practice session. Westerberg's obsession with the band grew so much that he convinced the band's lead singer to quit by saying that his bandmates didn't actually like him. Somehow his ploy worked, and that's when Mr. Westerberg swooped in to become the group's lead vocalist. Well done, Mr. Westerberg, you scoundrel. Now, after a few drunken performances and being banned from at least one local venue, the group changed its name to The Replacements. See a dog breath? The rest is history. Now, after building a huge college rock fan base, and plenty of critical acclaim on the backs of three fantastic indie albums. We're talking Sorry Ma, Forgot to Take Out the Trash, Boot Nanny, and Let It Be. Paul Westerberg and company jumped to the majors with their debut on Sire Records with a tiny little record called Tim. Released in the fall of 1985 and loaded with classic Matt's tracks, including Kiss Me on the Bus, Bastards of Young and Left of the Dial, the album was met with controversy due to the mixing of the songs. Originally produced by Tom Early, aka Tommy Ramone, the album's compressed and muted sound stripped away the band's rough edges and rock and roll realness for something much more polite than many expected or even wanted. Now today, we're proud to release Tim, the Let It Bleed edition. The 4CD 1LP box set comes with a hardcover book featuring dozens of previously unseen photos and a new essay by foremost replacements expert Bob Mayer. There's even a live album recorded at the Cabaret Metro in Chicago back in 1986, ultimately giving you 50 previously unheard tracks, including Material Unearthed from a January 1985 session with box tops and big star legend Alex Chilton. Now, the crown jewel of this set is a new mix by legendary producer and engineer Ed Stasium, who overhauls the original album production by his longtime working partner, Tommy Ramone. Among those tracks, the previously unheard original, Having Fun, written by Lil Tommy Stinson and sung by Paul Westerberg. Ed Stasium, whose claim to fame was being the sound engineer for such artists as the Ramones, Talking Heads, Motorhead, and so many more. The fans that purchase Tim Let It Bleed Edition at Rhino.com will also receive a limited edition 7-inch vinyl single featuring two songs from the Chilton Sessions. The rollicking road song Nowhere Is My Home, backed with the previously unreleased cello version of Can't Hardly Wait. Those who purchase directly from Rhino will also have access to exclusive merch bundles. We love merch around. According to Bob Mayer, quote, after nearly 40 years, Tim remains a charmed collision of intention and accident, a balance of deliberate anthems and tossed off gems, a raucous release and refined beauty, and a record that perfectly captures the band's fraught but always compelling ascent on the ladder of success, end quote. In addition to the revelatory new mix, the Tim Let It Bleed edition also boasts a fresh cover, featuring an instantly iconic 1985 image of the band in its Minneapolis rehearsal space. Taken by noted photographer, 
Moshe Braca. What track are you most looking forward to in the new Ed Stasium mix? Inquiring minds would like to know. If you liked our report, give us a like and make sure to subscribe to see a new episode of this fun and adventure every Friday. <laughs>